Ewing sarcoma is a soft um, cancer which grows outside the bone. Uh, it can be a sort of any any bone in the body. Um, but for Dean, it was on his ninth rib. It came to a bit of a shock to start off with because it's news which you can hear it so much in your life, but it doesn't prepare you to actually hear it. Um, so in May 2016, uh, I got called downstairs and I thought, oh, what have I done now? But everyone was sat down in here and the door was closed and instantly you're like, oh. Um, and they explained it in a way which wasn't as harsh. It's just like they found a lump and that was like all we had at the time. Um, but then sort of like shortly after is when all the chemo started, but it was more of a shock and I was in shock for a good few months because I didn't know how to react to that. We went October 2016 for proton beam therapy, which is a safer version of like radiation therapy, um, which helped massively. Um, we went for like 10 days as a family just to try and have a bit of a holiday because times were very stressful and everyone's mood was very down. Um, so we went for 10 days and had fun, as much fun as you can have, um, like before Dean's treatment started. Um, Dean's treatment was daily, um, so it means we saw the staff for a couple of hours every day. So it's a familiar face, which is really nice. And they were really supportive to us. Um, they even took Dean on a night out as well. Um, and same like all the British families that we stayed with, um, really nice to each other. You could share stories and you didn't feel as alone. Before Dean was diagnosed, we didn't really speak much because he was at uni studying. Um, so I'd only see him a couple of times a year. Um, but as he got diagnosed, it brought everyone together a lot more. Um, so Dean and I got a lot more close um, it was a bit easier to talk to the family because everyone was going through it together. Um, but sort of as things progressed, we got even closer and everything. Um, but it came to August time. So just after my birthday, everyone had a really good time. And then that's when things went downhill and everyone just sort of went their own way as a family, but still tried to support each other. Um, so I didn't really see Dean much in August because it was hard to see him ill. So my relationship with him kind of didn't go as I wanted it to. I would like to be in there a lot more. Um, but my mum, dad and everything, they've always been there. It's a really tight bond with him, like especially at the moment. Everyone's a lot closer than we were. Every bit of news was hard to hear, um, but like the diagnosis was... I didn't really like acknowledge it much. I sort of brushed it on the carpet because like, oh, surely it can't be real. Um, but thinking back, it's probably the time when they said that chemo is not going to work and there's no more trials. So it's just got to do its course. Um, I think that was so hard for everybody because you've got to be there for Dean, but then you've also got to be there for each other. And Dean hated people being upset. Um, so we heard it probably about a few weeks before we told Dean because there was still hope there for him. Um, and with the surgery as well that he had, um, where they removed three ribs, half his diaphragm and part of his lung. Um, and that was the day he was supposed to be cancer free. So there was a lot of sort of high, high hopes and spirits and everything. Um, but we found out during the surgery the cancer has spread, which kicked us back down again. Um, but all the news was just hard to hear. There was no hardest bit because it was a long journey for everybody.